Hi there. Um, so I just wanted to do a quick video on a program, um, an app that you can get for the TI-83 Plus. It essentially turns it into an HP scientific calculator. Um, this essentially makes uh, this calculator possibly the cheapest RPN scientific calculator that you can get today. Um, because secondhand, this uh, Texas Instrument Calculator costs about 10 to 15 dollars uh, more pounds. Um, and the software is free and open source, so you can just load it onto here and essentially use it like an RPN Scientific, which is quite amazing because it is really expensive to get hold of an RPN Scientific Calculator these days. Um, I've got some other ones. Well, I've got I have this one here, this is about 200 pounds, the Swiss Micro's recreation of the HP 42S. Um, there's the Voyager series, um, uh, the, the 15C would be the scientific one, but you're looking at about 150 or so at least. Um, so yeah, this is like a order of magnitude cheaper than that. Um, and it is really very impressive. Um, this was really just a quick video. I might try and do a longer one at another point. But this is just a quick video just to show you it in operation. Um, so you've got your four level stack, uh, you can put numbers onto it. The enter keys here on the bottom right, which is a little bit different um, to uh, most HP calculators. Um, there are a couple of things that are quite nice. It's very similar to an HP 42S, but you can use clear three times to wipe the whole stack. It's quite neat. It's got a menu system like the HP 42S. Um, but yeah, it's very nice. It works really well. Um, I'll just show you a quick calculation that I did this week. Um, someone who drove from my house back to theirs in their electric car. They did 76.2 miles. Um, and their display was saying it done 3.9 miles per kilowatt hour. So they had used 19.5 kilowatt hours of electricity. Um, but strangely there, Display was saying they only had 42% left of their capacity on charge, so they used 58% of it, um, which means that it thinks that the capacity uh, was 33.7 kilowatt hours, um, and so quite a bit less than what the car advertises as its nominal capacity, which was 40 kilowatt hours. But there we are, there's a real world calculation on it. Um, I'll do a more in-depth look at it um, at another time, um, but let's just show you it functioning. 